What do you do when shit hits the fan? Do you know, give us a poignant story of yours and how, how did you get back on your feet? Um, yeah, mate, look, I guess the mistakes that I've made, and, and I can't even remember how many, but there were so many, but some of the big ones were when I first started my real estate investment journey and, and a lot of folks that are listening um, that might be real estate investors themselves um, and that have gone through maybe a few e economic crises like 2008, the global financial crisis and, and 2020 with COVID, but getting into a ton of leverage, um, renovating these properties, refinancing out of them to use that equity to go and buy another property. The problem with that was, Charles, is I was bleeding more on my monthly expenses than I was getting from income. So it was just a recipe for disaster. It was a very slow bleed. Another big one, uh, you know, I've, I've had a few interviews and they asked me if you could turn back time, what would you do differently? And I joke around, I would never do it again. Um, because the entrepreneurial path and the path of a business owner is it's it's a lonely road to the top. Uh, you're always you're always chasing tail. Um, you know, you get disappointed by a lot of people. Um, no matter how hard you work, shit always hits the fan. You got to fix problems.